but yeah my roommate is watching a show about ancient alien conspiracies and stuff like that so you're welcome Hey friends, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Vlogmas episode. I just want to do like a real chill sit down um, and not get ready with me, but like still like do makeup. I recently got a hold of the ColourPop collaboration with Robbie Christie. And if you guys know anything about this collaboration, it is so freaking huge. Um, Robbie Christie is my favorite YouTuber of all time. I love her videos. I have watched her for the longest time um, since well before she blew up and I just I love her videos and um, so she came out with a co collaboration with Pure a while ago and I missed it on the first I want to say two launches or I may have gotten it in the second launch but I definitely missed the first one and I like had all these alarms set and everything and I did thankfully get that palette but I have still not used that one either and I think it's because it's Raw Beauty Christie and I'm a little bit nervous because once I like dip into it with a brush I'm probably gonna mess it up but that's okay that's just what I do and then uh, so Colourpop did this collaboration with her which if you know anything about Raw Beauty Christie she loves Colourpop and like way in the beginning she was like Colourpop we need to collab like blah 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 sorry there's like a gnat in here and it's like driving me crazy um, but so anyway, so she did this ColourPop collaboration and it is so amazing. I'm going to link her video actually, because she goes well into like why she chose the colors that she chose and what they uh, what kind of meaning they have. And it's really cool because it really has something very personal to her. And so, yeah, I'm just happy for her. And then she literally just had her baby the other day and I'm, I'm so happy for her. Like 2020 is doing well and if 2020 has to suck for all of us so that she can be doing so well in her life like after years of infertility and all this other stuff like I'm here for it. I'm okay with it I'm good I'm good so congratulations Christy I'm really excited so I did order her Colourpop collaboration it came in a little box and I don't know I just think it's cute it's not like a lot of products which I was really excited about because I feel like sometimes um People when they do a collaboration they can make it too big and then it's like too pricey and then it's too hard to get a hold of and this one was really hard to get a hold of so i had all these alarms set for work and i like thankfully i went in at 10 that day like had all these alarms at starting at 12 45 so i could make sure that it was back in the break room so i could hurry up and get on color pop's website and i know that she had a really big issue with pure's launch of her palette and I know she was like really embarrassed about it and she was upset about it and so was Pure and I think that they ended up handling it really well and like I said I got my uh, palette I think I ordered it in July and then I finally got it in September um, but uh, Colourpop they handled their launch with Christy really 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 well uh, it launched right when it said that it was going to launch and they had plenty of stock I feel like I got in and they put you in a queue and then you get your products and I got everything. I got the whole collection. And even hours later, like parts of the collection were still available. There were parts that had sold out pretty quickly, especially like the whole set as a as a um, bundle because I think you saved a little bit of money or something. I don't know. I just want to play with this makeup, and that's what I want to do in Vlogmas. And I just want to have fun. So let me get all this out. At Forest Sight is the name of her palette, and it's super cute because it's all like mushroom related, or I think the majority of it is mushroom related, and it's supposed to all be from. Um, Washington state where she's from and then so there's the palette and then there were the four Super shock shadows and like I don't know if You guys can see the detail but even on the super shocks they have like the little mushrooms and Then they have the three eyeliner pencils and then the two lip glosses. So yeah, I'm just gonna like put this on my face I guess and That's just what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna put it on my face. I'm gonna bring you guys in first though. Yeah, I think that's scary enough. <laughs> I'm gonna do this the professional way and look into my viewfinder while I do it. But I'm gonna put on eye primer because I have recently fallen in love with eye primer. I never really understood the point. I felt like concealer and everything worked the same. But honestly, I do feel like eye primer does have its place and purpose. There's not anything to set my primer. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this yellow in. I'm gonna do probably a halo eye because I feel like that's all I ever do is a halo eye. But I really, it's like chanterelle. And I know that she was talking about like how this is supposed to be like a mushroom. Um, she like talked about every single color and I guess she like used a dropper and like took pictures of Washington State and like took those specific colors out of those pictures and then put them into this palette and she's like, I want this color to be that color. And it was really cool. I don't know. I just thought that was, as a photographer, I think that's an interesting like little tidbit fact. I'm always curious on how like people make makeup. So I'm just going to take like a fluffy brush and this yellow shade and put it in my crease as a transition shade I 
think that is how I want that to look. So I'm just gonna do the other side. Okay, I think this is what I want my transition shade to look like. Um, it blended out really well. I feel like the pigment was really nice. I really like it. It's a great yellow shade. I think it's actually really, really pretty. I really like it. Now I think what I'm gonna do is I am gonna go in with this Fiddlehead shade. It's like this really pretty like army olive green color. So I'm gonna put that on the inner and outer portion of my eye to kind of start creating that halo effect. Also, you 100% are probably gonna hear my TV. Well, not my TV, Andy's TV. But yeah, my roommate is watching the show about ancient alien conspiracies and stuff like that, so you're welcome. Ooh, that's so pretty. I really like that shade. I don't think I have a shade like this, and I have a lot of greens. It's a lot of pigment, too. I'm definitely getting some fallout but that's probably more my fault than anything. All right, I just kind of packed it on both sides, so I'm just gonna like blend it together now and make that halo thing happen. I just have the green on the inner and outer and then through the middle, and then I end up taking some more yellow to kind of like blend out the edge of the green. So I'm just gonna do this on the other eye. Okay, I think that's as even as that is gonna get. You guys, I'm not a makeup artist. All right, all right. I'm gonna take this evergreen and I'm gonna go like in the center of the eye that I kind of left open. I'm kind of going like on the outside of the opening with the green shade because I'm, I wanna use the gold like right smack in the middle. I am definitely giving myself a lot of fallout. I don't think using my finger was the best for that shade. It's okay. It just looks like I have a green highlight on. It's fine. I've never used a super shock shadow. It's like the green gold one with like the, the little shift in color or whatever. It's called like a moss. <laughs> I love that. I don't know if you've ever used these shadows, but these are so weird. Like this texture is, it's wild. I've never used one before. Okay. I don't really know that that added a ton of a difference. Like I see it cause it's right in front of my face, but I mean, I still think it's really pretty. I like it. Oh no, I have so much fallout. And then I think what I'm gonna do like in the very, very, very center, I'm gonna put too many brushes in my hand. <laughs> so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this like yellow gold shade in the middle, uh, West Coast. This is becoming a mess. Then I'm just gonna take this brush and kind of blend the green and gold shade together. And I'm just gonna like re-deepen the green shade on the inner and outer corner. I really wanted to use the Emerald City. I think it might ruin it, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna use the shade here and I'm just gonna go on the inner and outer corner and see what it does. I think I'm just gonna do down below what I did up above with the Chanterelle Fiddlehead and Emerald City. I'm just gonna bring that down below. I'm not gonna put any shimmer because that always gets like everywhere. So yeah, I'm not gonna do the shimmer. I think that this look is really freaking pretty. I don't know how it's translating on camera, but in person, it's really pretty. Like this would be good for like a St. Patty's Day look or something. And some of the eyeshadow, I'm gonna use the eye pencil. I'm gonna do the olive one and I'm gonna do the tight line and waterline. That's actually really, really pretty. And it went on like so well. I got one of their gel liners once and it was crap. It was completely dried out. So I didn't know what I thought about these. Okay, so there's that. I'm gonna put on lashes and then I'll be right back. So yeah, I just ended up finishing up by putting on black eyeliner, then I put my lashes on and then, hold on one second. On my lash line, I always use like a black eyeshadow to kind of like cover it up so you can't see that glossy, white, whatever reflective thing um, of the glue. So I use Let It Rain, which is this blackish shade. It's not really black black, it's more like a gray black, but it's got what looks to be mostly red, maybe a little bit of green like reflect in it, but it's just very, it's almost like a shadow with a little bit of sh like glitter. And then I use the Fenty, whatever this is, Fenty Beauty 
sandcastle highlight as an inner corner shade um this one right here so that's my inner corner shade and then did i do anything else i think that's all i did so i think all i have left to do is just the lips and so the collection came with two different lip colors there's this one called wildflower and it's like this pinky gloss it doesn't have any glitter in it you can't even like really see it because yeah so it's like a pinky um glossy shade then there's this one called glacier that is like this icy white shade but it's got reflect in it it looks more like pinks light greens i don't know it's kind of like more cool tone so but i really honestly think that the pink one will go best I don't have a lot of color to my lips and normally I would probably line it. I mean, should I line it? Probably should line it. I'm not going to line it. I'm not that invested in it. Sorry guys. I'm just having fun. I'm not actually reviewing the product and I know that I love ColourPop's lip glosses. So, oh, I love the way that this one smells. It reminds me of something. It's like almost tropical smelling. Ooh, I love this. Like, okay, I was sitting here saying, oh, I know that I like them, da 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 da, da. But seriously, this feels nicer than the other ones I have. Okay, I really, really, really like this. You guys, I am so satisfied. I think the eye look came out really nice. I love the shades. I love the palette. But the only thing that I didn't like was I got like a crap ton of fallout. And probably it was user error because, I don't know, I'm just always a mess at like whatever I do. It's fine it's fine so yeah this was my video you guys on raw beauty christie's um color pop palette slash collection slash also it's vlogmas so i hope you guys enjoyed it this was my final look and um i will see you guys in my next video like give it a thumbs up please like it and uh subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and i will see you guys in my next vlogmas video which hopefully will go up tomorrow have a good night